Hi Richard here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am going to do a real quick video on something I've done I think for the first time where I've been trying to take a photograph of a macro item, in this case a strawberry, uh, but you're trying to get it in focus all the way through the um, all the way through the subject. So the whole thing is pin sharp and not just the front and back. So rather than it being sharp here or sharp here, I want to have the whole strawberry looking like this. So. This is what I did and this is how I accomplished that. So let's get into that now. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, um, trying a little bit of macro photography today, not something that I really know much about, but in the interest of learning new things, here we are. Um, and as you may know, I have been using this Canon 85mm F2 lens from Hira camera. It goes back tomorrow, well, I'm recording this and it goes back tomorrow, which I'm gonna be sad to see it go. Um, not sure if I've proved to myself that I need to buy one yet. Time will tell. Um, but I use that lens just to see what it was like, how it performed with macro. Um, I have a couple of notes in front of me, so if I do keep glancing down, that is why, but I'll try and keep it as fluid as possible. So I chose a strawberry because we had one in the house. It was easy to photograph, um, and there's lots of detail in it with the little pips and the seeds that you can see in the um, surface of the strawberry. Uh, when you're focusing close up like this, depth of field is really tough to get it focused the whole way through. So we might be able to get it focused just at the front or just at the back, but I wanted to get this in focus from the front to the back um, and using macro and being sort of zoomed in and close up to the subject like we are, that's really hard because it really accentuates the depth of field. So I did cheat. This is all automated. I have not done any clever editing, but it's just to prove that you can get half decent results by letting technology do it for you. Um, the Canon R6 took the, all the photos for me, 30 of them. Photoshop did the rest. So I'm gonna go through the process real quick. So first of all, here's a quick setup of the shot. We had the strawberry on the desk, uh, the camera set up facing it, the window light source as well, but I did use an additional light because I wanted to make sure that it was bright and I could keep the settings as um, favorable as possible without having to use too much ISO or things like that. So this is a basic setup. Once I'd had that set up, um, I managed to get my focus point on the front of the strawberry. Uh, zoomed in, make sure it was nice and sharp as you can see here. And once that was done, it was just a case now of telling the camera what I wanted. So I go into the menu options and head over to the focus bracketing menu. Enable that, make sure that I have number of shots set at 30. I leave the focus increment on uh, the camera defaults for this. It's my first time, don't really know what I'm doing, but it's sounding like a good place to start. And take the picture. And here you can see in the top left-hand corner of the screen, it is counting down 30 photographs taken. And what that has done, that has taken 30 photographs, starting at the front where I focused initially and gradually moving back through the frame taking separate pictures at different focal points until we get to the strawberry leaf at the back to give us one photo of each part of that strawberry in focus. And when they're all merged together, we'll get everything in focus, if that makes sense. So once I took the photo, it was straight into Lightroom, always start in Lightroom, bring them into my catalog in Lightroom. Here you can see the 30 images, highlight them all, right mouse click, editing Photoshop, open as layers in Photoshop. And what that will do is that will open one file in Photoshop um, and make them separate layers. So it'll have like one image if you like, but with 30 different layers. That takes a while, we're gonna speed that up and make sure that, don't keep you hanging around. So this is sped up, it did take a couple of minutes, um, but you can see the whole thing is sped up here. So let's just wait for that to finish. Okay, so there we are, we have 30 layers on this image. We now then just have to highlight all 30 of them because we're now gonna ask Photoshop to do its magic. But there is an issue with something called focus breathing. Um, and it basically means that as you change the focal point in an image, the lens adjusts slightly. So the first photo will be like this, quite close to the camera. Um, let me put all 30 together here. You can see the 30 images that I took and how they gradually move back from photo one to 30. And then at the end, we can see here that there is the first photo. You can see that as we switch to the 30th photo, 
it's further away from the camera. So what we have to ask Photoshop to do is to line those strawberries up. Um, there isn't much of a difference, although it is noticeable. Photoshop seemed to be able to cope with making the adjustment to get all the strawberries in all 30 layers lined up. So to do that, it's really easy. Again, all automated. Head up to the, well, highlight all the layers first. That's the important bit. Head up to the top left-hand corner, click on Auto Align Layers, choose Auto, and then click on OK, and that is gonna align those strawberries up so they're all sitting perfectly on top of each other. Uh, again, speeding this up so you can see it, do its thing quickly. And there we go, we now have 30 layers lined up perfectly. The next thing we need to do now is ask Photoshop to pick out the best or the most focused parts of each of those images to create one image from all those focused parts. So again, top left hand corner, edit, and then we click on auto blend layers. Once that's done, we click on stack images Hit OK, again it takes a minute or two, so we're gonna speed up the video here. We don't wanna be keeping you any longer than absolutely necessary. Uh, let's speed that up. And if you look down in the bottom right hand corner, you can see all those layers and the black layer mask, I think it is next to it. The white parts is the bit of the image that Photoshop has decided is the most in focus. And you can see we now have one strawberry that is focused from the beginning to from the front of the strawberry all the way to the uh, to the leaf at the back, which is a vast improvement, I think, from what it was initially. Um, once that's done, it is just a case of clicking on File Save, sorry, File Flatten Image, um, to make sure that all those thirty layers become one layer, if you like. And then once that's done, we click on file and save, and that will bring back a brand new image back into Lightroom, which I we can see here. Now there are a couple of um, caveats with this. It is all automated. So there's no saying that Photoshop is gonna do the best job possible. Um, and you'll be able to see from the image here that this looks, you can see around the image here that the depth of field and then the blurriness in the outskirts of the frame isn't quite there. You can tell it doesn't look right. Um, so I've done something simple. I've just cropped it to four or five. That's taken out those, that sort of blurry frame around the edge of the photo. And it's left us with something that, in my opinion, doesn't look that bad. If you zoomed in and wanted to really pixel peep, I'm sure you can find some discrepancies somewhere. But as a first real effort at this, not really knowing what I'm doing, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's then a quick edit, let's just do some tweaks to it. Uh, again, my editing sped up a tad. And we have a finished image, something like this, with a quick crop to get rid of that bit on the outside. And there we have the final strawberry, and that is pretty good from the back all the way through to the tip of the strawberry. So there we go. If I do decide to get one of these lenses, I may do an even more detailed uh, video on how to do it properly. So I appreciate that is an automated process. And if you were to take your time, I think the whole process took 10 minutes, you know, while we're waiting for, um, for the pictures to take and then to get them into the computer and to do all those auto aligns and auto blends and things like that. 10 minutes, I think, not much more than that. Um, just worth having a play. If you found that interesting, give it a go at home. Um, like I said, the, the, the Canon R6 is really good because it takes those 30 photos for me, but you could set your camera to manual focus and then pick 30 different points throughout the lens, throughout the photograph, excuse me, to get your 30 images and then ask Photoshop to do its thing. As long as the camera doesn't move, then you should be okay. So I hope you found that useful. That's me learning and sharing what I've done. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of me learning stuff and sharing it with you guys. And great to have you. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.